of Albert and Paul, a story of Albert Einstein and Paul Robeson, Mr. Thomas Lee Johnson. Don't say nothing, that old man River, he just keeps rolling along. Four stars, triumphant, primal power. That's the best review they've ever given us, Paul. Yeah, it's psyche over the underclass. <coughs> you notice they couldn't help but insult me? The Times loves a slap with their laurels. Othello ascended from the Moorish underclass. It's pure compliment, Paul. They think I'm too dim-witted to discern their invective. You're misreading this one, sweetheart. They gave you four out of four stars. They will never let me forget my father was a slave. Off you a word or two before you go. I have done the state some service, and they know it. No more of that, I pray you. In your letters, when you shall these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am. Nothing extenuate, nor set down aught in malice. Then must you speak of one that loved not wisely, but too well. One of not easily jealous, but being wrought, perplexed in the extreme. One of whose hand, like the base Indian, <laughs> threw a pearl away richer than all his tribe. Stage lights go dark as we push in on Paul's anguished face holding character. His eyes are locked in a distant stare. Albert leaps to his feet and leads the audience in a raucous applause. He extends his hand. Paul Robeson, delighted to meet you, Doctor. Albert Einstein, the light is mutual, Mr. Robeson. <laughs> you introduce yourself. The world knows who you are, Dr. Einstein. I didn't know who you were familiar with my work. Albert becomes boyishly shy. Please, call me Paul. You know. Uh -huh. Oft am I smit with shy humility. Is it thy soul with a secret influence, darling? Loft. Soul, soul piercing all shows of sense, which, which soareth heaven born to heaven again. Albert and Paul <laughs> take their port glasses and chuckle and settle into their chairs. Do you love Heidi as much, much as I do? And I've been listening to your performances since 1933. I have all your records, Paul. A fellow, a porgy and fess. Musical? Album? Port, more port. I'd rather be drinking a do. I'd rather be drinking a smile. I'd rather be drinking a lamp. But the better the less, the more I drink with you. You, <laughs> you the luckiest son of a bitch I've ever met, Paul Robeson. <laughs> you know, I still owe you for that whipping at craps you gave me, Wilbur. How'd you know I'd be in Madrid Friday morning? Mm -hmm. You still smoke them Turkish Latakia? See Maud on 131st? Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you clever weasel. When you coming this way? Soon. I've got a favor to ask. A friend of ours needs you to visit three Jewish orphanages and get them to a play. My friend will give you the details. I steal the devil's pitchfork in hell for you, Paul Robeson. <laughs> Anything. Paul hands Albert the phone. Who saved orphans, Jewish orphans, witness this savagery. If Negroes are willing to fight for Jews, this Jew will fight for Negroes. Follow Paul, Paul, give these men some cash. Paul? <laughs> Paul puts his coat on and heads towards the door. Paul? Mm. Give them money. They're going to take my things. One detective opens Aslanda's closet while the other one restrains her. Don't you leave Paul Leroy Robeson. Don't you leave me here alone. Don't. Don't. They'll never let me forget my father was a slave. Oh. Oh. The detective moves. Get the stuff and go. She's not our problem. I think she's dying. Will you help me? There's foam coming out of her mouth. Good God. Detective one finishes his inventory and throws the bag at Detective two. 
steps over as Londo and pushes him toward the door. So, one less nigger. Woo! Wow. As Londa lies still on the floor in a pool of her own vomit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do you remember what you told me the, the first night we kissed? You said, if I have performed for a cause greater than myself, then there is no oppressor on earth that can stop me. Love. Love, love is our freedom, our freedom song, a song for us. <laughs> 